I just hear this song, and I'm like instantly back in my parents' room with the fucking new tone TV. All right, so on this episode of Retro, Retro Wednesdays, Wednesdays, we're taking a look at uh, Tecmo Bowl, which is a game that's actually fucking good, and a game that I played the living shit out of when I was growing up. Um, it's one of my favorite NES games, and I think it's one of the reasons why football is so popular, because this game was like, every kid had this game. I don't know anyone who didn't have Tecmo Bowl. It's true. Yeah. So you really think that this is one of the reasons why football is popular with yeah, because it like group. I think it started everybody. Like it was foot. Everything is football now, and it's like it's everywhere. And I think is this football is the start as of popular as it? Like wh- I don't I don't follow football at all. So football nowadays is it more popular, the same or less? I popular? think it's to me personally. I think it's on a downward trend. But over the past couple like ten years or so, it's been like fucking massive. It's really yeah. I mean, it's not as big as, like, soccer, but, I mean, soccer's universal. In the U.S., though. It's yeah, in the U.S., it's the pretty US. awesome. Yeah. Um, it's also a great example of a game that was in the arcade, and then they moved it to the console, and they redid it to make it make sense, and it was really well done. Um, but, yeah. Do you want to go first, or do you want me to go first? Why don't you go first, since you're... Alright. Fucking Tecmo Lord. So you're going to do a single player, and we're going to switch off? Yeah, we'll just switch off. Okay. Now, everyone always is Los Angeles, because one of the really cool things about this game, if, you've never play- if you're one of the like, two people on the planet that never played it, um, all the different players behave differently. Like They have different values for speed and everything. And everyone always picks Los Angeles, because Bo Jackson is the most overpowered character in the game. Yeah. Um, I don't do that because I'm hardcore. I pick Chicago, which has the second most overpowered player in the game, Who's and that? Uh, Walter Payton. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Oh my god, this fucking music! Did they not change this music for the Super Bowl one? Mm, I don't. No, I think it is slightly different. I'm running this back. Wow. I played the shit out of this game. Wow. Wait, I'm not running it back. They're gonna catch me. Oh, this, this is the move right here. Yeah, the, the fucking zigzag. <laughs> I remember one time. So nothing. There's no like delay of game in this. Like you just leave it like this forever. And I remember one of my favorite hilarious moments was. <laughs> my mom was like, "Yo, you better come down here for dinner." So I came downstairs and I left it like this. And we were eating dinner, and it was real quiet, and you just kept hearing it upstairs. Hut, 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 hut. And my dad just, like, finally fucking snapped. It was so funny. What the hell is that noise? Like, you just so... Just, like, just blind, just pure hate... Just pure aggravation. <clears throat> Sorry, I was really pissed. So what's the you. tactic for this game? Because my tactic was always Hail Mary every play. <laughs> that is a very valid uh, play, or play style. Fuck you guys. But, uh... This is the best part. Oh, yeah! Walter Payton was... He's really good. He's one of the best running... Yeah, he's one of the best running backs in the history of the NFL. But, um... This one you can actually miss a... Yes, you can. And it plays the best little thing. It goes... (laughs) Like, it makes fun of you. Because kickers are whims. Um... So, there really is no strategy in this game, it's just, if you run the ball, just, you know, try to, ca- like, you know, try to move around. When you're playing defense, you try to guess what play the other team is going to do. Um, I think I picked it. I did. Because if you pick their play, then you destroy them. Right. In real football, other teams would never get a hold of your playbook, right? Like, no. That just wouldn't happen. Yeah. <clears throat> um, yeah, that's like the really the only strategy. And like when you throw the ball, as long as uh, the player that you throw it to is open, they're going to catch it. If they're covered, then... Fuck. See, look at that guy's... Like, when you throw passes in this game, though, all the players are wide open when you throw it to them. Playing defense is hard, because you just kind of have to wing it. I didn't pick the right play. 
So sometimes I try to just like stand. Oh man. Near where the guy was. And try to guess. It's tricky. I'm getting fucking torn apart. Yeah, you bro. can actually change the playbook, right? Like you can play you can switch plays? No, not in this game. This was this was pre audibles. God damn it! I got him this time. I got you! Motherfucker! Nice. Field goal. I don't know if you can actually block one of these. I've never tried. <laughs> you guys suck. But yeah. I, I love this game growing up. It was so much fun. Ah, oh, thought I made it. It's got really good music, too. I, I mean, very iconic music. It's like, oh shit, they picked my play. Um, well, look, look yeah, the, thing, the other thing to me that I love about this game is that the gameplay is super simple, but it's so satisfying. Like, when you throw that really long pass and then you get to run for a while, like, it's just awesome. I remember trying to play the ones that came out for Genesis and Super Nintendo and stuff. Yeah, they're, they were, they're, they're way more complicated. Yeah. I think it's funny, this is like the first sports game that we've ever done. God damn it, they keep picking my play. I, I mean, Ragnar. I don't typically like football games, but this one I liked. I like Tecmo Super Bowl, and then I always liked NFL Blitz, which is sort of <clears throat> arcadey. Yeah. The um, the best one of all these games is Tecmo Super Bowl 3 for the SNES. Best game ever. Because you could trade players and you could build your own players. So I was like a total loser and like built... Did you have it? Oh, hell yeah. I love that game. Tecmo... Te Su Super Tecmo Bowl 3. Tecmo Super Bowl 3. Super Tecmo. Tecmo Super Bowl. Super Tecmo? No, you gotta... What the fuck are you doing? Yo, man, get it together. This football is serious fucking business. I don't even know if pressing mashing the buttons does anything. Did, I know you like, did you like Joe Montana Sports Talk? <laughs> those, those, oh my god. Actually, no, we have another sports, we have another football game, gameplay of all time. Do you not remember? It was at my house, and it was in a. I remember it was in a oh, fucking snowstorm. We were playing Madden '92, and we played. We were the all Madden team. We played the New England Patriots, which at the time were the worst team in the game, and we were up like 135 to nothing. Oh my god! And we kept singing the fucking song. <laughs> when I bought my uh, Genesis recently. It came with that game. It's what a, a, what a piece of shit. Of shit. Touchdown. All the Peyton? Yep. Bye, bitch. <laughs> I always love it, even if you score, you can still tackle the guy after he scores a touchdown. It's such a dick move. I remember in, in NFL Blitz, you could, like, drop kick the guy when he was down. <laughs> I love the crowd too. Right, left, middle. Right, left, middle. Oh man. But like when we were growing up, you were never like you were never like a football guy, right? Like it just never appealed to I me. I like to play football. I like this game. But I never watched it. It was so so boring to me. Yeah. Like I've been to a couple I think I've been to maybe one football game too. <clears throat> and, um, I was walking past this guy, and he's like, You better not spill my beer. And I just, it just was like a, a fucking, like, 30, 40 year old man threatening a young child to, to that he beat me up. And, uh, it was just very, it, didn't, it turned me off. Hmm. I kind of, God damn it. Cause, I guess because football games are very expensive. They yeah, always were crazy. Always expensive. Now they're like, even worse. That's right. Hail Mary. <laughs> you dick! <laughs> I love when the guy fucking slacks and just whiff. 
Willie no. Galt. So I have like a weird relationship with football. Because growing up in my household, football was like fucking it. Like my parents, my dad and my grandfather were season ticket holders to the Philadelphia Eagles and it was like I mean my the first game I went to I was like four, I think. I took a nap during halftime, that's how fucking little I was. Um so, I have so many great memories of that, even though, like, it had nothing to do with the football, it just had to do with, like, the experience of going to the stadium and hanging out with my grandparent, my grandfather, my dad, and, like, hearing, like, you know, the, the, not to, oh, you motherfucker, um, not to perpetuate stereotypes, but, you know, it was a rough crowd, like you even said, like, with the one guy who was like, don't spill my fucking beer, um, you know, so I had so many like crazy experiences as a kid there. This like, is a vet, yeah, the right. vet. Like, it's insane. It's just complete mayhem. Intercepted, asshole! Wow, this guy is fucking slow. I'm scoring anyway. Suck a dick. <sighs> um. So yeah, like I had so many crazy experiences growing up. Like, I saw my first pair of boobs at an Eagles game. Really? Yeah. First time I ever saw How'd that happen, because people were crazy. They would just get so drunk, and there would just be girls taking their shirts off. Like well, they're just why going didn't nuts. Why did I know about this? No one told me about this. <laughs> it was nuts, dude. I'm telling you, people were so drunk. Oh wait, here's the best part: halftime, baby. See, sexy ladies in this game too. Yeah. Hang oh yeah. That guy's trumpet is way too small. She's a tiny trumpet. <laughs> but like, I saw that. Two of my favorite, or three of my favorite, uh, stories were, it was a Sunday night game, and in the vet, there were, there were bathrooms, but they were really shittily designed, and, like, the women's room was always backed up in the section where we lived, or where we lived, where we went, so, uh, one time, a contingent of women just busted into the men's room, and, like, they would take turns, like, two of them would guard the door, oh, fuck. But, uh, two of them would guard the door, and the other- and one of them would go in to piss. And it was, like, fucking pandemonium. Like, all the guys were just, like, trying to, like, climb up on the stall to, like, look in and, like, everything. It was crazy. Um, that was one of my favorite memories. There was another time- <laughs> I love this one. When, uh, fuck! Uh, it's, uh, sexual harassment, isn't it? It's cra- yeah, I mean, it was nuts. Um, one of my other favorite ones was a- it was an Eagles-Dallas game, and if- you know anything about the Eagles? Like they, Eagles fans hate the Cowboys fans. Not even, not not so much now. Like I feel like the rivalries and everything is kind of have kind of died down a little bit. That's right, bitch. Um, but back in the day, it was like the only reason that Eagles fans would go to games was to watch them try to beat the Cowboys. Like nothing else really. Damn, nothing else really mattered. Um, and there was this one Monday night game. And there was this guy who was crazy enough. We were walking into the stadium, and there was a guy who was wearing a um, fuck, wearing a uh, a Dallas Cowboys jersey, and people were like booing him and like throwing trash at him and everything. And I don't know what the fuck he was thinking, but he went into a Porto John, and literally like two seconds after he went in, some guy in I still remember he was wearing a Mike Zordich jersey and fucking Zuba pants. So. Nice. There you go. You know he was he was a fucking badass extraordinaire. Um, comes charging full force and just slams into the porta potty and knocks it over, but knocks it over on the door. So the door was on the ground, and you could hear the guy fucking screaming and gagging and like, like trying to get out, and he couldn't. Like I don't even know what I don't know what happened. But everyone in the area was just dying laughing because he was such an asshole for like trying to be. Like, why would you go into Porter John and an Eagles game wearing the jersey of the other team? Like, you know they're going to do something. And it was really funny because, like... Don't blame the victim. <laughs> Wait, the funniest part was right after he did it, some other guy went over to, like, where the ground was. And you know at the top of the porta potties there's, like, those vents? He's just sort of, like, kicking gravel into the vents. <laughs> like, I don't know what, what was going on. It was crazy. And then my other favorite... One of my other favorite memories that I always tell people about was... At the vet, they used to do this thing. God damn it. I'm coming. I'm gonna get you. Um. Where. 
they would do this thing called Focus on the Fan, where they would play they would play the Jaws theme, and they would um, pan a camera around. God damn, I'm playing terrible defense today. Where uh, they would pan around the screen or the the stadium to find a fan that they would zoom in on, and if you got zoomed in on, you would win like a prize pack or something, right? So one game, there was a uh, oh, they're going for it. Um, one game there was a a, a person who <laughs> there was a guy named Dan Deardorff who was an ex player who used to do like announcements for the games like play by play or whatever and he had this weird thing where he hated the Eagles like he hated Eagles fans he hated the team he would always talk about how bad they were and how the city sucked and how everyone's grubby and whatever it's true it is true but it's part <clears throat> of the endearing quality of Philadelphia. That's also it's, true. It's a wonderful shithole. Um. Uh, God damn it! <laughs> but, uh, I mean, you know, I might not win this game. But, uh. So they're doing this focus on the fan thing. And they zoom in on this guy who has this sign that says, Hey, Dan Deardorff. And they zoom in on him. <laughs> and he looks up at the, at the Jumbotron and sees that he's on there. And he flips the sign over and it just said, You're a dick, like in giant letters. And like literally when they were doing it, like instantaneously the music cut out, they shut the camera off and it just went to a commercial. Like that got televised out. And like everyone in the stadium was just fucking dying laughing because it was just such a dick move. Oh, that was so great. <clears throat> yeah, I think in my experience, you know, Philadelphia is the city of brotherly love, but really it's... It's not the friendliest city in the world. <laughs> no, it's a city full of insane people. I don't know, I've never been to a football game in any other area, but I feel like the ones in Philly were particularly rowdy. And yeah. Like just... they're, they're a little bit common like, I, nowadays. I bet you cause... like more north, like maybe Boston. What, are, what team's in Boston? Like the Patriots? Patriots? Yeah. I bet you Red their Sox. games are pretty nuts. Because they're very like... I see that city as very, like, rough and tumble, just like Philly is. Well, I think it's... <clears throat> there's a... To me, there's a direct correlation. Not to get into, like, sports or whatever, but... I think there's a direct correlation between how ridiculous your fans are and, and winning. And the Eagles haven't won shit in a long time, so... I think part of the reason why their fans are so... Aggressive or frust or easily frustrated or, you know... Some people would consider standoffish is because they just want their team to win so badly. And I'm not trying to condone good or bad behavior because, you know, one of the things that um, Philadelphia is notoriously famous for is like, 1970s, oh, they threw snowballs at Santa Claus, they cheered when Michael Irvin got hurt, blah, blah, blah. But like, if you go around to every sports town that has an NFL team, there's always stories like that. I mean, I remember when I was growing up, there was a whole big controversy about, um, at the Meadowlands, the, where the Giants play, that there was, like, Giants fans throwing hunks of ice at the other team, like, trying to injure other players, and, like, I remember a couple years ago, there was a game in, it was, like, San Francisco and somebody, and somebody fucking stabbed somebody at a, in a fight in the parking lot or something, I don't know. It's like, every team has those, like, dark, you know, fans that Crazy just take fans, everything too yeah. far. But for some reason, in pop culture, in the NFL, it's like, it's just been, um, Philly has been more vilified than other teams for some reason. I don't know, I always thought it was more fun when they were shitty anyway. Because <clears throat> then people complain about them more. But one game, and I told you about what happened there. Yeah. But, I, I mean, I used to like to do those things, but not really because I like the sport, because I like to eat. So I'd look forward to eating pretzels and stuff. But I remember always getting pissed off because I loved cheesesteaks when I was a kid so much. Like, they were oh, my I favorite. Yeah, I, I mean, I still do. But... Yeah. So, whenever you go to the vet, their cheesesteaks had fucking peppers in them. <laughs> and I'd be so angry, because every time my dad would get me one, and I'd take a bite of it and have peppers in it. <sighs> So or was it onions? It doesn't matter. They, I mean, I'm fine like, with onions, but... It's just big chunks of onions in there. It just ruined Fuck it. Fuck me. And I, now, I, now I like that in my, my cheesesteak, but... 
And and so the the thing is that if you're not from where I'm from, the southern New Jersey area, there's actually two different kinds of cheesesteaks. Yeah. There's the Philly cheesesteak, which is different than the South Jersey cheesesteak. Yes. And I grew up on South Jersey cheesesteaks, and I'm not going to argue which one's better, although I think the South Jersey one's better just because it's... The Philly cheesesteak is cheese whiz, which yeah. is, is is crappy. I mean, that's just the way it is. Whereas a South, South Jersey cheesesteak would use provolone or American cheese, so... I don't know. Anyway... That was the other thing that, that, like, it was always weird to me that Philly was known for cheesesteaks, but I always felt like the ones you got in South Jersey were far superior. Yeah. Easy to remember passwords in this game. 2B04089C. Somewhere in my house I still have a book of all the passwords from really? when I would play. Oh, yeah. I have, like, I have, like, three years worth of passwords fucking stored in there. But... In a very circuitous route, to jump back to my sports experiences, I realized as I got older that I didn't really care about football. I just cared about the experience of, like, hanging out with my grandpa and my dad. Right. And, like, doing that kind of stuff. And that I just don't... Like, now when I watch football, like, yeah, I still get mad when the team, when, like, the Eagles will play like shit, but I just don't care. Like, I just don't care. Like, I'll watch a game and I'll be like, eh, this fucking suck. Or, oh, wow, they won. Like, I don't get... I remember, like, when I was younger... And even up until like I guess a little bit into college when they were when the Eagles were really good and yeah I know that like my fa- my excitement level is directly correlated with how shitty or how good the team is but um, I used to like I used to be so angry when they would lose or something and then I was like after a while I was just like who fucking cares like th- if they win I have to still get up and go to work the next day it's not like we all like it's not like we all get up and win money out of the deal or anything it's just like fucking. Whatever, so, I don't know, the past couple, the past, like, five or six years, like, I try to watch football, and I'm just like, I don't care, I just don't care, it has no, it's not enjoyable to me, like, it's just boring, and, like... You just watch by yourself? Yeah, like, I'll put it on, I'll have it in the background, I don't even watch, like, just the Eagles, I'll just watch whatever team is on, I'm like, alright, whatever, like, they're playing, two guy runs two steps, falls down, penalty flag, okay, that's basically how it goes. I've actually been, people make fun of me for this, but I've actually kind of been, and it's it's my wife's, my in-laws, my wife's parents, um, they're big soccer people, like Premier League in England, and World Cup and stuff, and that was actually kind of more, I've kind of been a little more into that, like it's a little more fun, in a weird way. Alright, so you want to stick with Chicago, or do you want to pick a different team? I don't care. <laughs> like, I don't give a shit. Now I knocked off Denver. Miami. Ah, bonito, ah, Miami. Where they is. Those uniforms are, are sexy. Oh no. <laughs> Shit. John Rosa. Guaranteed that when that guy played, he had a big ass mustache. That's a mustache name. Shit, man, I'm gonna ruin it for him. <laughs> Bro, what are you doing? Man, he cares. I used to be okay. <clears throat> the only thing I hated about this game when I was little was, uh, couldn't be the Eagles in it, and I used to get so pissed about that. Why couldn't you? Because the game wasn't actually licensed by the NFL. It was only licensed by the NFLPA, so they couldn't have all the teams in it for some dumbass reason. Well, it's are, also... Are the Eagles... Is, the, is there a Philadelphia team? Yeah. I mean, back in the day, when this was... Yeah, they've been around forever. In, in Tecmo Super Bowl, though? Or Tecmo Bowl? In Tecmo... In the next one, Tecmo Super Bowl, they were in it. Because then that one was licensed. Bro, what are you doing? My team sucks. <laughs> well, it is a little unfair because when when you play one player, if you beat one team, the next team is a little bit harder, and the other team after that's a little bit harder. Chugging down this. 
Monster Rockstar punched. Shit. Dude, I'm getting my ass kicked. Should have picked LA. So, just to give you a pointer. So when you go back to throw the ball, if you see a Miami dude anywhere near your guy, don't throw it to him. Press, uh, I think it's A to switch receivers. Okay. Whoever you throw it to has to be completely wide open or else it's guaranteed to be an interception. Oh, because I'm in Tech my Super Bowl, it wasn't always like that. Mm -hmm. Tecmo Super Bowl was interesting in that they had all these player ratings. So, like, all the different players that have different skill sets. There you go, son. Yo, that was fucking... You juked that motherfucker out of his shoes! It's like how there's nobody near that dude, now you can throw it. Nice. Now, if it was me, I'd do a running play. One of the top okay. ones. <laughs> Fucking Vince Lombardi over here telling me what the fuck to do. John Madone. <laughs> <clears throat> I love these Rockstar Fruit Punchers. No. You don't like them at all? I could fucking no. drink them all day. All day, all long. I think they're the wor one of the worst drinks I've had. Really? Yeah. That's crazy. How do you like regular Rockstar? Yo, I... man, full power, man. It's not that I like the flavor as much as I just... It's the only one that ever worked for me. Boom. Kicker getting in on the action. Ninja. Shit. Get him! I'll give. Can I give you another another strat? Yeah. When you go to defense, press A one time. So now you're gonna be that guy, and now you're in the middle of the field, so it's easier to figure out where they're going. I'm always that dude. Okay. Because then that way you're just you have more space, and you, and on the um. Ooh. On the uh, what's his name? On the Bears, that guy's a really good player. Mike Singletary? Yeah. He's a beast. He had the right strat, though. <laughs> yeah, fuck this shit. I wanna go back to shooting aliens. Elven Dragon Slayers. That was awesome. That's right. He got sacked. <laughs> there you go. Now you got the strat. Why did he go out of bounds? I don't know. He's running Stupid like a fool. idiot. There's no of rules. I'm trying to play the game. I'm trying to play football here. Bring it the fuck on! Na -na 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 -na. <laughs> yeah, I still remember being in like middle school and like I'd go to the Monday night games and I was such a badass and then I'd have to like. I get we get home at like three o'clock in the morning and have you have it up for school and at school by like seven thirty. Three a.m. Oh yeah, we would because it would take forever to get home and you know you tailgate and then you gotta you know unbeknownst to me at the time people had to sober up enough to drive home like I didn't you know I'm too young to factor that shit into my head but uh hey, you're a kick master but uh game. I'm all about that kicking game but um. And, like, just all the shit that you would hear people yell is just, like, so out of control. Like, I still remember there was, like, a Monday night. I think we were playing the Redskins. It was a team that was red, so it was either Redskins or, like, the Chiefs, maybe. Why are my guys not covering these freaks? 
gotta pick a different defensive scheme, god damn it. Gotta go 3 4. Well, when you don't pick their play, they always leave guys open. There you go. Fucking sack that fool. <laughs> but they're they're playing some red team and they're and I think it was the Redskins, I'm pretty sure. And they scored. And there's a guy in a Redskins jersey in our section, and he stood up to cheer his team, and it was like, dude, I don't know what you were fucking thinking, cause like just just endless beers would just just rain down on him. Like, they just fucking destroyed him. People would run, ran up behind him and just dump beer on him while he was standing up. And then, like, he turned around to yell at them. And the guy who was an Eagles fan next to him, like, reached down and grabbed his bag and just, like, chucked it down the eye, like, down the, the fucking stance. And, like, people were just, like, throwing it and, like, ripping it open and everything. It was crazy. Son of a bitch, every time. This game is ridiculous with the interceptions. It's so bad. <laughs> Out of hand. I used to like this game. Fuck it. I like Tecmo Super Bowls. This game's not technical enough. I need to run button hooks. Five yard <laughs> out patterns. <laughs> Half time. Thank you. I don't have time for shit. Wait, why am I kicking off? Because you got the ball first last time. That sucks for them. Oh, come on, you turds. <laughs> what the fuck? This game is rigged. This team sucks, dude. Coaching staff needs some regime change. Coach sucks. <laughs> That's the other thing I love about sports in Philadelphia. Like, one week they win a game and you're like, This coach is the fucking best coach! Coach of the year, baby! We're going to the Super Bowl! And then they lose the next game and it's like, Get this guy out of here! He fucking sucks! He doesn't know what he's it's doing! Exactly, it's exactly... I was at a, uh, a, sh a cigar <laughs> shop and the, the it was in North Philly, so it was filled... With Eagles fans, and that's the, get this fucking coach out of here. Doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. <laughs> it's so fucking true. This guy fucking sucks. He doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. <laughs> oh my god, it's so hilarious. I don't know where that fucking guy was going. Nailed it. <laughs> oh my god. If you're ever bored, like, just go turn on 94.1, and that's like every single phone call. Mike from Fishtown, you're on W, you're on WIP. This coach is an idiot. He doesn't know what the hell he's doing. He's trying to run the ball on fourth down. We're playing games out here. And then the next guy calls. I've been a season ticket holder for 35 years, and I'm going to die before I see the Eagles win a separate bow. Every call for four hours a day, I swear to God. The one guy was yelling because the quarterback wasn't running it. I was like, why does the guy fucking run? Just tell him to run. It's fucking coach. Tell him not to run. Fucking bootleg that shit. <laughs> oh my god. I love it so much. Just the, the fucking rage. And like the side seat, the side Monday morning quarterbacking. Oh, I love it. Run the goddamn ball! WHAT ARE YOU THROWING IT FOR?! <laughs> oh my gosh. There you go, yeah, get one back! Singletary does it. <laughs> you weren't Mike Singletary. I know, I was Richard Dent, I know that. Putting a dent in that motherfucker's head right there. Shit. Yeah, just take the sack, who cares? Mick Mahone. McMahon, dude. McMahon. <laughs> yeah, touchdown. Touchdown, run. shitheads. I'm surprised the fumbles aren't out of control, too. There's no fumbles in this game. Really? Yeah, they didn't have that mechanic. Whoop. Yo, son. That guy's a genius. Fucking cubed him out of his fucking shoes. He's lying on the ground, jockstrap around his ankles. Oh, oh. Let's try that again. Pick your play. Thank you. 
Great. Touchdown. Talking about the coyotes. <laughs> All about that fucking playoff scenario, baby. Oh my god. It's the only reason I listen to sports talk radio in the car, just to listen to people get so mad. He had like almost a hundred points when we played last game. Yeah. Just that much of a beast, huh? Uh, you know, I don't mean to brag, but I know I know about sweet power eye formations. You turd. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> I think that stadium in this game looks like shit. Come on, I intercept that. Catch the fucking ball! You know it, I know it, we all know it. Son of a bitch. Can't let these freaks get a touchdown. I just remembered another one. One time we were playing, it was a playoff game. Serious business. And there was a group of people in front of us who had never been to a, to a football game before, apparently. And they wouldn't sit down. They kept standing up the whole time. And people were getting so mad. Son of a bitch. Now you got oh, it. You're yeah. good. You need to make a first down. But, uh... It cracked me up, because they were... The things that, they were, that were being directed towards this group. And one of them was a woman... The shit that was being said to that woman was just really inappropriate, and it was really funny. Yeah, back then you didn't get in trouble for doing that stuff. No, now you get arrested. Back in the day, nobody gave a shit. Back when things were fucking awesome. Every... wow, okay. I gotta do something serious now. <laughs> you gotta get 26 yards. You got it. Ah, oh, don't be a pussy. That's right. Run that shit. You got one yard. Ah, oh, they picked your goddamn play. <laughs> they had a 25% chance of doing that, and they pulled that off. That's fucking computer cheating right there. When you play this game against your buddy, you could always look at their controller or whatever. Yeah, that was a big deal. We, when I used to play it, we used to have a divider. That we would, yeah. we would put up a whole bunch of binders to, to protect ourselves. Most of my friends are fucking Come on, why am cheaters. I not intercepting in the world? Uh oh. Fritz getting football rage. Fucking coach. He's get fired. Get this fucking guy out of here! He's what the fuck he's doing! Jesus, man. These, this team needs to relax. That's <laughs> alright, you still got a one point lead. Mark Dupe. His nickname back in the day was Super Duper. Really? Because his last name was Duper. And when he got out of uh, football, he got a job duplicating videotapes. So he just kept the nickname. No, he didn't. <laughs> Super Duper. I'm talking about duping. Ooh, onside kick. No, this motherfucker is playing games. You don't realize they have. You got Dennis Gentry on your team. Zigzag, zigzag. You got it, your touchdown. Touchdown, Thomas! <clears throat> Dennis Gentry! It's not my phone. It's your goddamn phone. You know what's kind of funny is that I'm pretty sure a Japanese company made this game. Yeah. A football game. Just very American game. Football game made by a Japanese company. Did you ever play the arcade game? Uh, it's pretty cool. It's weird, but it's cool. <clears throat> I, I, I remember the graphics being very, uh... Yeah, they're very stylized, intricate. But... 
Um, I never actually played the, uh... Right. Going for a bomb here. You got five seconds, you're about to put the icing on the fucking cake. Intercepted. <laughs> they are ridiculous in the interceptions. <clears throat> Alright, you won, bro. Nice. Good job. Champ. There's you running away. The fucking victory. Alright, so I don't really feel like playing this anymore because it's basically the same thing over and over yeah, again with different it. color teams. It really is. So, uh, Tecmo Bowl final thoughts. It's fun. I think it's an expensive game. Um, I think if you're going to choose one, you should probably choose the Tecmo Super Bowl. We should do that one next time. But. It's fun. I, I don't know. I don't know if I'd pay more than five bucks for it, though. Yeah. It's a really common game. Um, I like how in the newspaper it just says... K -k 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 it says Aka Aka Aka. Aka. Is that an A? I thought that was an H and a K. Aka Aka. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I It it, it looks like it's super simple and not like the most exciting thing in the world, but um, it was one of the first games I ever played all the way through and beat. Because you can, can beat, you the, beat game. the game. Yeah, you play all the teams, and you go to the playoffs, and you play for a championship and whole nine yards. Um, it gets ridiculously hard, though. Um, it, this game is special to me because it was like the first. I know it sounds weird, but this is like the first MLG game I played. Like we had tournaments. MLG. Yeah, like we we organized it in the sense that it was like we had t I had tournaments at my house with my friends, and like every other day, like, we would map out who would come over to play, and, like, who was gonna win the tournament, and, like, we had money on it and shit, like, you know, we were little kids, so it was, like, two bucks or whatever. But, like, we used to do that all the time, and, like, we would play against each other and have tournaments, like I said, and, um, it was really fun. I, I, this game really, uh, got me really into the NES, and, uh, made it really fun, because it was an easy game to pick up, and that's what I mean, that's what I think is the, the lesson in this game, like, when we compare it to the other game we did tonight, the Toxic Crusader, which is a fucking turd, um, this game is put together well. Like, it's, it's, the gameplay is fun, simple, anybody can pick it up and figure it out, like, people that don't play football can pick it up and figure it out and can go with it and run with it and have fun and win. <clears throat> um, sometimes I wish that some of the players weren't so ridiculously overpowered, because whenever you, f depending on the whole game, if you want to beat it, it all depends on if you're not Los Angeles, when you play Los Angeles. Because if you play him early on, it's easy to win. If you play him in the playoffs and you gotta fight face Bo Jackson, you're just fucked. Because even with the computer, he's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. um, but outside of that, it's a really fun game. It's really well put together. And the other games are really awesome, like Tecmo Super Bowl and um, Tecmo Super Bowl 3, which is my personal favorite. Um, but they're all really great. I, lo I love all of them. And I think they're really fun games. And it's definitely a game that if you don't own... I don't know what you're doing with yourself, but you should go get one. And they're super easy to find. They're very common. Um, I've never seen one box, but I know, like, loose, you find them all over the place. So, yeah, this is uh, Tecmo Bowl. And for Retro Wednesdays, until next time.